Good evening, my name is Garrett, and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is a celebrity brand, which... Oh, just hold tight, just hold tight, okay, before you judge. This is Blackened, which is uh, Metallica, the band, uh, brand. They paired up with Dave Pickerel, which uh, passed away, master distiller, to create Blackened Whiskey. Now, this is a 45% ABV. And no age statement on there, but this is um, Kentucky whiskey that is then aged in black brandy casks. So an interesting thing there, specifically being black and brandy casks. And on top of that, they do a very interesting process uh, that it, they play, and this sounds crazy on the surface, they play music um, to agitate the barrels while they're aging in these casks. So, obviously, the, the, the idea there is to create that agitation as it's aging in those, those brandy casks to change its flavor. And every bottle has a batch number to it. And it just tells you what playlist was actually played during the time that it was aging in those casks. Uh, so, interesting enough, uh, Batch 107 has probably one of the more iconic songs, Sandman. Uh, inner Sandman playing during its aging process. Didn't know that when I picked it up. Just a cool little fact. Uh, but it was an interesting idea that some people write off. And of course, unless you get all the different batch numbers and really taste test, will there be a difference? I don't know. That's, that's out of my realm of knowledge. I would assume that agitation of these, of the spirit, instead of it just sitting there resting, would change something in there. But that's my guess. So either way, we're going to be taste testing this two different ways. Going neat, meaning no ice, no water. And then we'll add a few drops of water in there to see what changes up. Uh, but starting off, oh, look at this bottle. I I've made note of it before. I'm always a, a huge, huge fan of bottle designs. And I love thick glass bottoms on, <laughs> on my bottles. And it's just an interesting looking bottle. It's eye catching, but yet what I love the most is it, it can be eye catching, but still showcase the spirit, not covering up with labels and stuff and just being unique in that aspect. I love the design here. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I really love. So yeah, let's get into it. I am also happy that they didn't go completely to the floor on the uh, proof on this. Most of your celebrity brands you have to take for a grain of salt. Usually they slap their name on something and send it out the door. They try to get the profile to fit the most common individual that's going to buy it. They don't usually look to whiskey people to do this. So being as they paired up with Dave Pickerel is, is a, a, an iconic thing. So it's really cool. There we go. Let's go for notes. Ah, oh, right away. You can tell this is a different cask. That brandy comes up to the forward. Uh, very fruit forward. Uh, you get this beautiful honey on there as well. A little oak and spices. Ah. Oh. Almost like it's it's fall spices, clove, um, maybe even nutmeg, things like that. Very subtle spices, but clove is definitely one of them. Uh, and, and fruit, like apricot dried fruits, uh, like those little apricots that you can get in the store that are dried and just a slight bit of chewiness to them. Honey sweetness. And just a nice layer of oak in there. Ah, oh, it's it is a beautiful nose. Mm. Let's go for taste. Mm. ABV shows up just a little bit. Actually, it shows up a little bit more today than it normally does. It's usually, I've had a few drinks out of here. It's not usually as strong today. It's a little stronger for me. 
um, which obviously taste depends on what you've been doing for the day. But you get this beautiful, beautiful dried fruit basket note, like just all these different dried fruits in there, like raisins and and apricots and orchard fruits and, and all these beautiful notes, a beautiful honey citrus, uh, sweetness coming and, and tying everything together. The the bit of spice comes through as well. Mm. That oak shows up there at the back end. Beautiful finish. It's not super dry. It's nice. And and those fruit notes help carry you through this finish. Mm. I said, uh, the ABV's showing up a little bit more today than normally for me. I just had some more of this last night. And uh, it's just one of these lovely... Really one of these brands, especially being a celebrity one, that surprises me each time. I love that brandy, that what the brandy casks have done. It, it, they just bring this beautiful, beautiful fruit to the no, to the to the noise. And again, we don't know if the agitation of it changed anything, but I mean, I, I would assume it has to do something. Mm. Oh, that's one of the just gorgeous flavors. Oh. It just, it, it invokes so many different things because you still get a bit of that vanilla in there, that, that, the standard classic uh, Kentucky bourbon notes, that, that almost dried cherries and uh, that vanilla note, a bit of oak, but you get then get this dried apricot and these beautiful clove spices and a sweet honey going on. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Oh, that's so good. Oh, all right. Let's uh, try some with some water in here. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of this brand. I, I just, I've fallen in love with it the first time I tried it. I've recommended it to a few people, some Metallica fans. Um, I tell them they definitely need to try this one out. And even whiskey people. Like this is a unique situation because again, we don't get the luxury of a lot of celebrity brands standing up and making something not common. Again, I love their bottle, so. <laughs> Go and add a few drops in here and see what changes up. There we go. Actually, The honey sweetness comes out a little bit stronger on the nose. Yeah. That honey sweetness comes through. Oh, that's beautiful. It almost, and I say almost very lightly, kind of reminds me of the um, Rock and Rye, which I'll put a link up above for. Um, on that honey sweetness, it's not quite as strong, but my brain instantly goes to that one. Oh man, mm, let's go for taste. The oak comes through significantly stronger. You lose out on some of that spice. That oak comes forward. Uh, you get that apricot, that cherry note. That vanilla shows up a little bit. The spice is still there, but not quite as strong as the uh, non-added water version. Yeah, this one has a lot more spice going on. Yeah, this, this one, it's honestly, they're really two different kind of taste profiles to me. This one goes oak, fruit, spice. This one goes spice, fruit, oak. Kind of maybe those spice and oak can flip flop around there. But that is really good, even with a little bit of water in there. Um, this kind of turns, I'm gonna say a little bit more, more common without the spice. And, and I say that with, with a pinch of salt because 
Uh, you still get a lot of those fruit, dried fruit notes. Oh, but it's so good still. Mm. It's just got a lovely palette to it. Maybe a little drier on the finish. Maybe just a, maybe, you know, a couple percentages drier on the finish. But it's just such a gorgeous sipping experience on this one. It's got a great flavor profile. And again, brings out a little more oak on the, the taste on that with the water. Mm. Still good though. So let's talk about market pricing. As we all know, market price is market price. I picked this up for, I think it was $50. And to be honest, it's worth $50 all day, every day. And it's a great bottle. The thing I love about it is that they didn't go completely on the, on the same rail as most celebrity brands. They did a different process, which I'm sure it, it makes for costs uh, with the agitation. Uh, working with Dave Pickerel to come up with this, you can tell his influence helped. Uh, he, he, he's a, a, a scientist in the distillery. And being th that they made this as unique as it is, is awesome. Uh, again, coming at 50 bucks, I think solid. I've seen some places go as high as 60. I still think it's a good price at that. I've seen some places actually sell this for like 45, 40 bucks. This is a steal at that price in my opinion. Uh, at 50 bucks, I'm very happy with it. I actually bought a, uh, a bottle of their Gold, um, gold State um, Edition, which is their cask strength, coming in like 68%. So when that review goes live, it'll be um, up above as well because I'm really wanting to try that cask strength version of it. And it was only 65 bucks. I was able to order it for $65. It was definitely worth that for me so far, at least in, um, in my mind it is. But yeah, I think that this is a beautiful representation of what a celebrity can do and a unique process with some great flavors to it. So yeah, there you have it, Blackened. And if you have any questions about Blackened, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them, as always. And if you have a specific spirit you would like me to try, also let me know down in the comment section because I'm always looking for something new and exciting to try. So as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.